Remembrance Day is a time to pause and remember those that have been involved in a war and in many cases lost their lives. Today, we invite you to connect through the legendary story of Thomas George Prince, also referred to as Tommy by those who knew him. Tommy was born on October 25, 1915, and grew up on the Brokenhead Ojibwe Nation Reserve north of Winnipeg. As a young man, Tommy wanted to enlist in the war and tried many times over. He was turned down, though, despite more than meeting the requirements for recruitment. For Tommy, like most young men on Canadian reserves, World War II meant the chance for a job and three square meals a day. However, Indigenous people were routinely rejected. Tommy persisted and was finally accepted on June 3, 1940. He was assigned to the first field park company of the Royal Canadian Engineers. He accepted every challenge that came his way and excelled as a soldier. By 1942, Tommy was a sergeant with the Canadian Parachute Battalion. He was posted to the 1st Canadian Special Service Battalion and was among a select group of Canadian soldiers sent to train with an American unit to form a specialized assault team. They became known to the enemy as the Devil's Brigade. The Devil's Brigade soon saw action. In Italy, Tommy volunteered to run a communications line 1400 meters to an abandoned farmhouse that was less than 200 meters from a German artillery emplacement. Tommy set up his observation post in the farmhouse and for three days reported on the activity in the German camp. When the communication wires became severed, Tommy decided to disguise himself as a farmer. Tommy posed as a peasant farmer while German soldiers held their front line. The enemy soldiers suspected nothing of this so-called peasant farmer weeding his field near the camp. The field had been torn up by shelling, the crops all but gone. The soldiers watched with little interest as the farmer slowly worked his way along the field stopping once to tie his shoelaces. Finally, the farmer stopped his work, shook his fist at the Germans and then the Allies, and returned slowly to the farmhouse. Tommy's courage resulted in the destruction of four German tanks that had been firing on Allied troops. He was awarded the Military Medal for exceptional bravery in the field. Tommy continued to distinguish himself. In the summer of 1944, the first SSF entered southern France. Tommy walked 70 kilometers across rugged, mountainous terrain deep behind German lines, near Les Carins, going 72 hours without food or water to locate an enemy camp. He reported back to his unit and led the brigade, resulting in the capture of over a thousand German soldiers. He earned the Silver Star, an American decoration for bravery in action, as well as six service medals. Tommy was honorably discharged on June 15, 1945 and went home to Canada. Tommy returned from fighting in the war to a country that denied him the right to vote in federal elections and refused him the same benefits as other Canadian veterans. The business he entrusted to a friend had failed in his absence. He dedicated himself to increasing educational and economic opportunities for Indigenous peoples. But after facing unemployment and discrimination, Tommy re-enlisted to serve in the Korean War. During two tours of duty in the Korean War, he won the Korean, Canadian Volunteer Service and United Nations Service medals. He was wounded in the knee and was honorably discharged on October 28, 1953. Tommy Prince is known as Canada's most decorated Indigenous war veteran. He was a brave and remarkable man. Tommy had a strong sense of civic duty and a fierce pride in his people. He said, all my life I had wanted to do something to help my people recover their good name. I wanted to show they were as good as any white man. Tommy died on November 25, 1977, at the age of 62. In this day and age of reconciliation, it is important that we begin to rewrite history to include the great stories of Indigenous men like Tommy Prince. We should be remembering a legend such as Tommy Prince for his bravery and courage. Remembering Tommy Prince is remembering all who served.